guys, this is Edna with Square Photography and today I am going to teach you how to put photographs into heart lockets, how to get them printed, what size to make them and all that good stuff. I'm going to give you some hints and tips on how to be able to actually put the photograph into the heart locket without much heartache. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to scan your actual locket. It can be any shaped locket, but you need to scan it at one to one, meaning do not enlarge it, do not crop it, do not do anything, just scan the heart locket exactly as it is. You can make it in black and white, doesn't have to be in color. And you wanna push down on the top of your uh, lid when you're making the scan because you want the locket to be as flat as possible. Once you have the heart locket, you're gonna import it into face, uh, I'm sorry, um, Photoshop. And then you're going to make a four by six photograph because four by six is a common picture size that you can get printed anywhere from your pro lab to Walgreens and you can get them pretty quickly. So you're going to go to file new and here on the right side, you're going to put six width of inches and four height of inches with 300 pixels per inch. Anytime you're dealing with a photograph, it has to be at least 300 pixels per inch. So it's 300 pixels per inch here and we're gonna press create. So here is my heart locket and we're gonna copy it by pressing control A for all, control C for copy, and then control V for paste. Now, it's command for Mac users. I'm a PC user, so that's how I do it. Control A, control C, and control V when you're in the four by six. So we can close, you can save this or close it, whatever you need to do. And now we have the heart locket here. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to paint the inside of this heart locket black so that I don't have to have the heart locket anymore. I'm just gonna have the actual black area where the photo photograph needs to go. So you can use a paint brush, you can paint it black. See down here on the bottom left-hand corner where the colors are, just click on that top color and click on black. And you're gonna wanna use a brush that is hard, not soft. So a hard round brush here under your brush settings. You can press B for brush. And here you'll see under your brush settings that you can pick a brush that is hard. Now you can make your soft brush hard also. So I'll teach you how to do that. Let me bring this in and you can go here on the top left hand corner and you see where it says hardness. You can bring that and make it really hard and you can also change all the different sizes here. So once you have a hard brush, you are going to click on the layer with the heart template and you're going to click on the plus size here and that gives you a new layer. Okay. And you can also press control J. I'm sorry, that's a copy. So let's just go ahead and press the plus and I am going to paint at 100% opacity right here 100% in black I'm going to paint around the heart so I want to get as close to that edge as possible just like that and it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but it just you want to be able to know that your photograph is going to be pretty close to that size. You just want a decent template to show you what your photo needs to be, what size. There you go. I think that's pretty good. What do you guys think? That's about as good as it needs to be. It doesn't need to be perfect. Your photograph just needs to be resized to about that size. So now I'm going to remove, I'm going to see this little eyeball right here i'm gonna click on that and that removes your heart locket and now you have just a heart so you can press v for the selection tool or you can just click up here on the corner and select it and i'm gonna make a bunch of these right here so i'm gonna make two heart lockets because they're side by side right just like this and then you can press shift and hold both of those together so or press control and click on both of them and then copy them again it's control j or you can drag them to the plus sign and then grab those two and click on them and put them over here 
And again, same thing, you can just grab those two and drag them to the plus sign and then drag those over here. And then again, the same thing. And again, the same thing. And again, the same thing. Okay, so we are going to print six of each photograph because the possibility of making a mistake is pretty high in this scenario that we're getting into. So this gives you a little bit of a little mistake insurance. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take the photos that you want and you're going to drop them into Photoshop. Okay, it's this easy. You take the photo and you just drag it and drop it on top of Photoshop. Now, if you copy and paste it, if it's a high res image, it's going to be really, really big. But if you just drop it into your photo, it resizes to the size of that page. So now you're going to drag this corner or any corner. Now, if you're on an older version of Photoshop, you're going to press shift and then drag. But if you're in the newest cloud version, you're just going to drag that corner. And now you're going to come up here to the opacity and you're going to drop your opacity until you can see the heart on behind it. So you see that I am going to resize this until it's the size that I want it. So right about there. I think that looks really cute right there. And you can trim all of the edges also. So for instance, um, you can, trim all of the sides so that it's not overlapping on the other heart. So you can just grab your marquee tool and grab that end and press delete. And you can do that for this side too. press delete. And now that one is set and ready to go. Now we're going to bring in the next photograph. So we're going to do this one. These are the client's favorite, some of their favorite photos. So same thing here. We're going to resize it, bring it over here, drop the opacity down, and then choose a size that you like. And I think that looks pretty cute right there. Beautiful. Now when they're both the right size and you've trimmed off any edges, you got another, oops, sorry, I'm on the wrong. Make sure you're on the right layer when you're trimming edges, guys. So right here on the blue layer, we're going to delete that edge. And we're going to delete this edge. And now we're a little closer to where we should be. Awesome, just like that. And now we can bring up the opacity on both. And now we can make copies of these again by pressing shift or control, grabbing both of them and then pressing control J or dragging it and dropping it into the plus sign. Once you have those two, you're going to grab them and bring them over to your next little heart. So we have a little bit of extra trim on this one. So just click on that layer with that photo and delete that trim right there. Now we're going to take those two images again and press control J and we're going to click on our selection tool and bring them over those two hearts over on this side. Same thing over here. Same thing again, make a copy of them and make another copy of them. Perfect. Now at this point you want to save it so you always have this template. So we're going to save this as heart template. And that way you always have this heart template. But in order to print it, you've got to flatten it all. So you're going to press shift control E. Shift control E. 
I'm sorry, control E. Let's grab all of the background and press control E. So all, let's make sure that we select all the layers all the way from beginning to end, press shift, click on the top one, press shift, and then click on the bottom layer and press control E or command E. So here we have our four by six that we're going to get printed. At this point, you wanna send your four by six print just like this to your favorite lab. And whatever lab it is, make sure that it's not cropped or it's not enlarged. Otherwise, it's not going to fit your locket. It has to be one to one, four by six. That's why I put it in a four by six because people will just print out this four by six. There won't be any enlarging, any cropping or anything. So exactly as it is a four by six, that's exactly how you want to get it printed. And now I'm going to stop here and I'm going to show you guys how to physically put the photographs into a heart locket. Okay guys, so this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your four by six photograph that you got printed. You're gonna need your heart locket. You're gonna need a Sharpie. You're gonna need scissors. And you're gonna need tape. I've been using this packing tape and it seems to work great, but it needs to be at least thick enough to go over your photograph. So this is how we're gonna go about it. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your heart locket, just like that. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out a piece of tape just to go over your heart. You want a nice clean piece of tape and you're going to put it over your heart just like this. Make sure that it's not too indented in, that it just is nice and plain and straight. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw right around the outside edges of your heart just like this. The closer you get to actually making this correctly, the better chances that it's going to fit right off the bat right on the edge just like that see that next you're going to remove it from your locket carefully and you're going to put it over your photograph Let's trim off these edges because you're only going to want the actual heart. Just like that. And I'm going to trim off one of these photographs. Start with this one right here. Now I'm gonna put this heart centered right where I want it. Just like that. And you can just pat it down just like that until it's glued on really well. And now we're going to cut that out as close to that edge as possible, right on the inside. So you're not getting any of the marker in your heart locket because we went right outside that line. Be very careful when you're cutting it. I've yet to nail it on the first try. I'll be honest with you guys. It takes me a few tries before I like really nail it, but you've got plenty to work with, plenty to play with. So that's the first one right there. Now let's see if it fits. If it goes on in the first try, I'll be completely shocked. So you can tell that I didn't cut deep enough into the little center area, so I'm going to cut that. Let's try it again. And a lot of the lockets have like a little divot where you can put your photo in. Let me 
to cut it a little bit more. Now the problem is, is if you keep trying to take it on and off, you're gonna like ruin that heart locket. It's gonna become wrinkled or, and then that's when you have to try again, like this time. And this is what I end up having to do over and over again, is keep trying again. Because this little edge right here, you can see it's not really well centered. So I'm gonna go one more time. And I'm telling you guys, I just never nail it the first time. So let's try it again. There we go. One more time. there. Let's give it another shot. That's why I had you guys make a bunch of these photos because it literally will take you at least a few tries. The first time you do it, it may actually take you all the tries. The first time that I did this, I, I printed two sheets because that's how often I was messing it up. And just so you guys know, a little alcohol will take the Sharpie marker off. Like if you did get it into the actual picture. Like see, I just rubbed that little corner and it came off. But a little alcohol will also do the trick. You wouldn't be able to do this if it was just a photograph. All right, let's give it another shot. Wish me good luck, guys. I need to cut in a little bit more here. All right, that's a little better. That's pretty much perfect right there. And you can just bring your nails in and just kind of push them into the corners just like this. There we go. So that is the first one, guys. I'm going to keep trying to put that second one in, and I will get back to you guys right now. All right, guys, I did it finally. This is what it looks like right here. There you go. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the chain on. And I'm going to put it in its little bag. And I had these beautiful custom made referral cards that I will add it to this. And I have custom made thank you cards that I will add to this gift. And my clients love it. They post it on social media. They tag me. It's a beautiful thing that's not, uh, you know, it's just for them, for them to enjoy. So I will link the heart locket and the little baggies in the description below so you guys can give this a shot. I think this is a great client gift. And I think in the long run, it'll help you get more clients if your clients are happy with your service and they know that you go above and beyond for them. So if you like this, please subscribe, uh, hit the notifications button so you can check out the rest of my tutorials and you'll know when things come in. And again, guys, choose happiness, be good, take care of yourselves and be safe.